For each of the following graphs, determine whether a Hamilton circuit exists. If so, describe the circuit. If there is no Hamilton circuit, see if there's a Hamilton path. For part A, we could probably just look at this and try tracing out a few examples to see if there is a Hamilton path. But also notice that that's a complete graph. It's K4, the complete graph with four nodes. And every complete graph has a Hamilton circuit. So for example, we could say the circuit A to D to C to B back to A would be an example of a Hamilton circuit on this one. For part B, you could try again drawing a few examples. But what you'll notice is that C and F kind of form bottlenecks in this graph. If we try starting at B, for instance, and we go to A and then to C and then over to the other side, there's no way to ever get back to B without recrossing this edge. So once we've traveled from one side of the graph to the other, since there's only that one connection between those two distinct parts of the graph, those nodes C and F form bottlenecks and there's no way to come back all the way to B. However, it's pretty easy to find a Hamilton path. If we just continue what we're doing, we can find pretty easily a Hamilton path starting at B. And that choice of starting at B and traveling the way we did was completely arbitrary. You could do many other variations of a Hamilton path through that graph. For part C, we try similarly, and it should be clear that since A and D have a degree of one, you'd have to start at one of those and end at the other, because there's no way to start somewhere else and go to A and then continue on from there, because there's only one edge connecting to A. So let's say for the sake of argument, we start at A, as soon as we travel to E, now we have a choice of where to go. We could go out this way towards F or this way towards B or either of the other ways. So let's say we go up towards B, for instance. You'll notice we kind of get stuck in this section of the graph because if we keep coming around, now we can't go anywhere from F without going back to E and recovering ground that we've already been to. So even if we start at D, we would find ourselves in the same situation. And no matter which way we go from E the first time, we're gonna find ourselves stuck in one section of the graph, unable to get back without retracing our steps. So this one doesn't have a Hamilton path or circuit. So there are a few principles like a complete graph always has a Hamilton circuit, but otherwise you can just look at the structure of the graph and try tracing out a few. You'll pretty quickly find whether there's a Hamilton path or not, at least for the simple ones that we're gonna be looking at. There's no general rule for every graph that's quite as simple as the one for Euler paths and circuits, but usually for the ones that are as small as we're looking at, you can just find the answer by trying a few examples.